Now, can I break this down? I don't know if these respawn or not. Oh, they do break down. Oh, hi. <laughs> Scavenger data log. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start a new game called Space Trash Scavenger. Now I played the demo of this game uh, several months ago. Really had a good time with it, so I've been looking forward to the release. I want to send out a huge thank you to the developers Square Play Games and Paradox Arc for sending me a key to this game. Uh, I think you, got a great, you guys have a great game going here. I think it's going to do really well for you. And once again, I appreciate you sending me a key. I have not played the actual game yet. Again, I did play the demo, so I have a little gist of how to play the game. So let's jump in. New world. Uh, I guess we could change the world seed. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not going to mess with that. We'll just go with what's there. I'm going to call this Season 1. Alright, here we are in the game. We start on one little, little square box with Tracy, our computer. Uh, of course, it's got the typical curl controls over here. The W... Oh, what the... <laughs> one thing I want to show you right away is... I did not know this in the demo, but you can actually walk all the way around your little base here without falling off. I had no idea that was in the demo, or I had, I had no idea that was in this game. So uh, there you go. If you start playing this game, you know you can walk around. All right, let's, we, over on the bottom left, we've got our our health and our food and our jet pack. We, gotta, we'll have, we have a jet pack, but we have no fuel for it. We're at zero. We've got 10 hot slots up there, and we've got a little tutorial see the map uh, actually you can hit M for the map where we are right there on our space rig we got the stock market we've got a couple of signals that are close and an entity we have to check all that out so let's go ahead and talk to Tracy welcome to scav Corp family I'm your company approved to trash recovery and communications interface or Tracy for short reintroduction training takes about 20 minutes it's highly recommended for new employees but maybe you're sort of Maybe you're some kind of hotshot. Do you want to skip your tutorial? No, we want to learn. As a valued new member of the salvage team, your goal is to scavenge and repurpose space trash, then make it to spa Scavcore Hub for pickup. As you jump to designated salvage sectors, you will receive stock orders to fulfill at the stock market. Awesome. To reach the Scavcore Hub, Scavcore Hub, you will need to use the right quadrant permit to advance quadrant. If you survive, you are free to keep any profit you have made as part of your support corporate benefits package. If you survive. <laughs> as it's your first day, allow me to introduce you to your tools. I've added a telescanner to your suit inventory. By the way, I just want to interject. This game is made by two people. And um, they have I can tell that you know, they put a lot of love in this game. Uh, they've been working on it for three years, I believe. It's, I believe it says in the beginning. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm excited. I, lo I love working with any developers and helping them out so they're doing a good job on this look around and use your telescanner to scan a piece of ice floating nearby check your goals in the top left of your suit HUD for more details all right so we got a scanner and we got to find some ice looks like ice to me so our goals are up there at the top left and now we have to talk to Tracy again Great job. You may have noticed you're wearing a jetpack. Out here, it's the best way to travel. You can craft a jetpack fuel using the ice you just scanned. So let's get hold of it. Later, you can build thrusters to move your space rig around, too. Oh, cool. I've added a scab corp grapple gun to your inventory. It has dual functionality. It can pull trash towards you or grapple you to nearby objects. Pick up five ice rocks floating around us. All right. So that is number two. And we need, uh, we need three more, two more. Awesome. Goal completed. All right, let's talk to Trace again. Great job. Are you ready to start processing space trash? I am. Good. First, here's some tools you'll need. The packing tool and repair tool. Thank you. 
To process trash and manufacture goods to sell, you need to build a space rig. Your space rig is your mobile base of operations. I've given you some foundation cubes to get you started. Thank you. Select some foundation cubes from your hot suit hotbar and build them. All right, so we've got, looks like seven is just our basic building cube, I think. Let's see, if I hit tab, yeah, we got base cube, solar panel cube. That's where we get our power from. A socket cube, you have to use these uh, to power something. We've got a repair tool, packing tool, grapple gun, and our telescanner. Uh, let's see, actually, I think I want to swap these two. Use just to pack up items you have built on your base. Uh, I'm going to put that down here. Won't use that a whole lot. Uh, the repair tool. Maybe. Alright, all we have is ice in our inventory. Alright, so seven, we're going to build... Well, we have three? Three blocks? Alright, that'll give us a little working room. Cubes create artif artificial gravity, so you can walk off of them. Walk off the side of them. Try it. Boom. Love it. <laughs> now, it is easy to get disor disoriented <laughs> when you're walking on this thing. But yeah, I did not know that during the demo, and uh, that makes a huge difference. And then the packing tool, you can pack up anything you have built if you want to rotate or move it. Alright, so what are we supposed to do next? Uh, put down our other stuff. Alright, so we've got the socket cube and the solar panel cube. All right, I think I want to put the socket cubes here. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna save one of them. And the solar panel cubes. Let's go here and let's go here. That's giving us our power. Oh, we have a lot of solar panel cubes. I had no idea we had that many. We've got all kinds of power. Alright, now, what are we supposed to do? Talk to Tracy. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have one more socket cube. Now, these things, we can place different machines in different places on it, which is really cool. Again, I did not know that during the demo, so I've learned a lot since playing the demo. Uh, let's, I'm going to save one for now. All right, let's talk to Tracy. Fantastic work. Hang on. I don't wish to alarm you, but I'm picking up a signal from an incoming entity. There must be an entity nano, nano factory on one of these asteroids. They're drawn to the tech signature of your space rig. Use the mining laser to fight it off. Be aware it might be underneath us. It's a good time to st test out the artificial gravity and walk off the side. All right, where's my pistol at? Um, okay, it's at four. All right, we are under attack. Don't know where it's coming from right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, can I suck that stuff in? Oh, yeah, I can. Come here. Awesome. What else we got? We got ice. What's this? Hole fragment. Alright, I'm going to put my repair tool down here, and I'm scooting all this stuff down. I might need that laser. Well, you won't use the laser a whole lot. Let's just keep him there. Carbonite. Let's bring that in. I don't think we have a weight. I don't think we have a weight. Yeah, we're probably okay. The whole fragment. What is that? Two iron cubit. Okay. All 
All right, I'm just gathering some stuff that's close to me here. Bulkhead. Now we can actually holding secondary fire will pull you to a target. It's very handy. But for your own protection, I have disabled this feature until you make some jetpack fuel. <laughs> okay. That way you won't get stranded out there. Okay. I tried to use the uh, the, the right click to gravity and then they, it's, she's disabled it. Alright. Alright, let's go talk to her again. At Scav Corp, we prioritize the safety of our employees above all else. While we make every effort to ensure salvage sectors are secure, unforeseen hazards may arise. For now, avoid entity nano factories as they are heavily fortified okay anyway we should be secure for a while so let's continue building here is your atomizer and fabricator build the atomizer and fabricator on socket cubes okay all right so she's giving us those uh we want there's the fabricator and the atomizer use this to slowly break down any object into its constitute materials and so consider building more than one. And the fabricator, a 3D printer that uses qubits as raw elements to create complex tools, structures, and devices. All right, so let's put the fabricator. All right, how do we rotate uh, Z? Is that the right way? Yeah. Okay, and then the looks good to me. All right, great stuff. Most machines have input ports from which they automatically pick up ingredients they use. This means that later on you can automate your oper operation by using conveyor pads fetch drones and tra trash tour beams. Oh, that's cool. You won't be able to get everything that you need just staying on your spice rig. What you thought all the good what you thought all the good trash would just float straight to you? Ha ha ha. No. High value trash is usually found further afield. Before I give you the jetpack fuel blueprint, a little tip. You need to eat. Out here there aren't many protein sources, so we grow a genetically modified algae for food. I know it sounds disgusting and it is, ha ha. Anyway, build a bio tank and use it to grow some algae. All right, uh, let's see. The, so they build a bio, bio tank. We need to go in the fabricator and bio tank takes t uh, ten iron cubit and five oxygen cubit. So we have to break these things down. get iron from this we get atom atomize so it'll start breaking those down you see a little progress bar there and they will automatically go into our backpack there we go we get some oxygen cubits we're getting some hydrogen cubits what do I need to make the uh, I need 10 iron and 5 oxygen. Oh, I need to be making uh, iron. Meanwhile, I can grab some other stuff. Some of this stuff is destructible. If I can't pull it to me. Do we have to make the carbon or the bio tank yet? Fabricate. There we go. And it says I can buy. Or I can build a power console. 
I want to bake uh, a few more base cubes. Alright, now I did my... Oh, there's my, there's my tank in four. Now, does it have to be on power? I think it does. Powered items cannot... Cannot... Powered items connect to socket cube. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Alright, so here's where we can actually go... This. Put it here. There we go. And I need for food required per cycle carbon cubit. There we go, we're making some food. Should be able to just uh, left click to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of food. And I got two more blocks. She wants us to do next. Oh, we can make different things. Algae, growth factor, or enzyme. Alright, that's cool. Did I lose power? Do I not have enough power? I'm not sure why that stopped. So she says, great job. Don't get to eat your algae. Yum. If you want something more nutritious, look into growing food on a farm cube. Sell crops at the stock market or eat them for buffs. You can access stock market prices in your soup menu. Okay. Now you can eat. Let me upload the jetpack fuel blueprint to your system. Later, you can buy blueprints to mod your jetpack speed, defense, and other capabilities. Craft some jetpack fuel so you can go exploring. Alright. What do we need to make? Uh, is that over here? Jetpack fuel. Jump drive fuel, laser charge, and med pack. I need to find some aluminum. Well done! Now that you have fuel, use it by equipping it to your hotbar, or by selecting it and using it in your suit inventory. Check out the alt altimeter to the left of your suit crosshair to see how close you are to the current gravity well. Now that you can fly, I've enabled the secondary grapple functionality of your grapple gun, so you can pull yourself around and try it out. To expand your space rig, you'll need a blueprint shop. I've uploaded the necessary blueprint to your suit so you can build one. Your induction, your induction training is now over. It's time for you to explore the sector, build what you need, and fulfill your contractual, contractual obligations to Scav Corp. Before you go, you might be interested to know I've detected three unidentified signals in this sector. You can locate them on your hollow map. Okay. You're contractually obligated by Scav Corp to investigate these signals wherever possible. I have added a remain reminder to your goals to aid you. Alright, that's over here. Alright, so our jetpack fuel is right here. I'm going to put my socket cube here. Alright, so the, our food thing... Alright, I gotta bring in some more carbon. So now we can fly. Uh, let's see. How do I activate that? Okay, it's gone. Alright, it didn't last very long. Can I make more of that? And 
I need more hydrogen. Let's try out this other thing where it pulls us toward it. We can also use it, I think, on our space rig to pull us towards it. Yes. So that's pretty handy. Now, can we save? Do we save? Yes. Save again. Very nice. Okay. I don't think I have enough power. It looks like this. This doesn't have enough power. All right, I'm gonna throw everything in there in here that I can. Quick look, hold, shift. And I'm just gonna atomize everything. Hey, Stop shooting at me! Oh gosh, there he is. I shot. Nice. Grab all this stuff. Oh, I'd have to scan it first. Piping. Why can't I pull that to me? Oh, I gotta I have to deconstruct it. Do I have another one? All right, where's my base? Okay, there's my base. So this is destructible. Oh, you can destruct it with your laser. Alright, cool. Oh, I get aluminum off of that. Alright, let's get back to our base. This guy's still shooting at me. Don't see him. So I didn't know we could use our laser to deconstruct this stuff. Now let's take this apart. That's fast. Oh, I don't need to tell scanner. I'm using this grappling to pull me closer to my base. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's throw this stuff in here. Skate pod, iron and aluminum. Oh, nice, okay. Silicate. Uncommon electronics. Scrap. Squid entity, the remnants of an entity. Cool. Now, let's see if I can get more algae going here for food. Oh, maybe we could sh I think we can shut these. Okay, if I shut this off, then it should give me more power here. Right? Okay. There we go. Yeah, 
we're getting the algae now. Alright, cool. So, you can't everything turn on at once unless you have more more power. Now, she said something about building a power. Let's see if we can find that. Bed. Auto storage, locker. Blueprint shop. Can I make that? Oh, combining blueprints. Alright, we'll wait on that. So this gives us plus plus sixty units. Oh, I need uh, more silicon. Oh, I have to turn it on. Okay. Yeah, did it automatically shut off? Machine has no power. Ensure to switch to on and receive enough power. All right, now let's put my other my other cube down here. Five. Now, does that give us give us enough power to run everything? Yeah, that's still going. Okay. All right. So having enough power is obviously more important. Very important. All right, we need to eat. Where's my algae? Oh, it's four, okay. Stock prices have shifted. The biggest mover has was sensor, okay. All right, let's see what else we can do here. While we're waiting on some of this stuff. All right, what do we need to make the blueprint shop? Oh, there's the power console. Plays power consumption, input and output values. Oh, I can make that. Alright, and then a blueprint shop. Storage with loading bay for automated pickup. That'd be cool. Uh, oh, I need more copper. Okay. All right, our power console. I'm guessing that has to be on. Can it go here? Okay. I thought it would have to go on one of these sockets, but it can go here. All right, so we got 210 units coming in and 200 going out. All right. So we're okay. We're okay. See, I think I've done everything here I could do. Uh, okay, I need some more jet fuel, jet fuel though. Oh, yeah. Make one. Okay, I'm going to keep one as a backup. All right, let's go investigate one of these signals. Uh, which one is closest to me? Don't have a whole lot of fuel. That's 180 meters. All right, surely we can get there. Cool. Experts bonus signal detected. All right. Uh, okay. What do we get? Ten credit wallet. All right. Uh, okay. Is there a take all button or just? Uh, let's see. Shift. Hold. Click. All right. What is that? Use to transfer funds to your balance. Right and middle click to drag and split. 
All right, our balance looks like 78,000 credits. All right, cool. Now, can I break this down? I don't know if these respawn or not. Oh, they do break down. Oh, hi. <laughs> Scavenger data log. My god, I can't believe it's come to this. I gave 10 years to the company, and this is how they repay me? A faulty trash vac? Without a trash vac to help me help me scavenge, I didn't notice my fuel ran out. Of all the dumb ways to go, I can't believe it. Uh-oh. If anyone finds me out here, take this blueprint and save yourself from my fate. Craft a trash vac. You can thank me later. Alright, craft trash vac. Alright, I don't know what that is. We're gonna find out. Alright, is there anything else? Can I just... I don't know if I can break any of these rocks down or anything. Doesn't look like it. Alright, I don't see anything else here. Alright. I gotta get some, uh... I gotta get some goods, man. I'm, uh... I gotta make some more jet fuel. So it sounds like somebody's still shooting at me, but I don't think they are. Oh, so we de deconstruct this. I need to get that stuff quick. We're gonna pull ourselves back to our rig here. Boom, okay. Uh, can I reach that? Alright, let's start cranking this stuff out. Does this have a. Well, let's see, day one, 850. Is that 850 at night? Not sure. I know at some point we have to make a bed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it if I can. Just because I remember that from the demo. There it is. A hab bed. Let's go ahead and make that. I think I'm gonna wait to put it down. Cause I know it's gonna ask me for it. Ah, uh, still need copper. All right, don't I have any copper going in here. I have one. I have a lot of iron. Um, uh, let's make some more of these. All right, let's go ahead and put this down here. Make it nice and even. All right, so I don't know if that 10:30 is that. I think it's gotta be nighttime, right? 10:30 at night. <laughs> Rest and rejuvenation are essential to your success as a Scav Corp employee. To ensure optimal performance, Scav Corp encourages a minimum of 8 hours of sleep per day. Use a half bed for a recharge. So, it's 11 o'clock at night. Alright, I, I, I knew that was coming. So, we gotta put our bed down. Uh, that's in 6. And, let's see. Let's just put it right here. Now... Not the greatest place. This stuff can be moved around. You cannot sleep unless you build a roof over your head. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Okay. Um, a door. Door through which you could enter and exit your base. I think I could. I think last time I just made a wall and one roof.
roof over quarter. Maybe it's one of those. I think all we have to have is just a roof over our head. Alright, I need the wall first. Like so, and the roof. Come on. Alright, rotate. Alright, we're gonna go on this side. Because it wants to be picky. Now, what about what's this uh, pack up tool? That is a 10. Awesome. Puts it back up in our hot bar. Alright, so let's put the bed back down. That should do it, I think. Let's see if we can sleep. Yes, we can. You drift into a dreamless slumber. All right, cool. We wake up hungry. Of course, uh, we got a little food. Uh, our health is back up to full. That's, so that's awesome. Very nice. All right, let's see. Uh, I want to build. I want to build one more wall, just to give us a little, a uh, little protection from the elements. go and that's the six let's go there and let's go there we go uh yeah it gives us a little bit of protection at least we feel like we're protected a little bit got a nice skylight up there <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna end this one here uh if you like this uh you like this game i like this game there's there's you know a lot of stuff to do and uh gotta figure out the i, I think we got the power thing figured out actually Tells us right here what we're at max down of power, so I need more. I need more uh, solar panels, of course. And um, but yeah, there's lots of stuff to learn in this game, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Investigate the other signals, craft the trash back. So uh, yeah, really cool. If you like this episode, guys, hit that thumbs up button, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes, and come back and see me for more episodes of Space Trash Scavenger. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.